What is up YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily defeat the brand new 7 star Terra Raid Chestnut in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in just one turn. That's right, we got some one hit KOs and we actually have two of them that's going to make this raid so easy to farm with a group of friends, a group of people in Discord or in the Panfro Games community. And they're going to be really easy to do Super simple to coordinate, so you definitely want to do this if you want to farm all the items from this chestnut. Now, of course, guys, if you like this type of video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it, and consider joining the Pan Fam today by hitting that Join Member button below. So to begin, let's break down chestnut real quick. So it's going to be Terra Rock. Rock is weak to five different things. Water, grass, fighting, steel, and ground. And we want to hit on the special side because chestnut has a really low spadef stat. 75 is pretty low. Defense 122. We're not going to be able to one-shot it with physical attackers. And 88 HP combined with 122 defense, it's just way too bulky for us. But 88 HP with 75 speed death, we can handle that. We can definitely bring it down a notch, right? So I'm not too worried. And is a rock type. So like I said, five different weaknesses. Now, the move set this thing's probably going to have is a grass move. So one of these, seed uh, bomb or wood hammer, fighting type move, uh, hammer arm or close combat, maybe body press. That's another option too. And then definitely a rock type move, which is either me Stone Edge or Rock Slide, which I actually am leaning more towards Stone Edge on. And this is going to have a coverage move, probably Poison Jab. I'm actually leaning more towards Poison Jab just because Grass types do beat this thing and it doesn't have any moves to deal with Grass types. So Poison Jab would make a lot of sense. But I'm also thinking Earthquake just because it has a lot of damage. It does cover Steel types as well. So, you know, we'll see on that. But I, I'm leaning towards a little bit more towards Poison Jab. Now, the setup moves are very important here because Chestnut does not have a way to increase his special defense. It can increase his attack, can increase his attack and defense, and just his defense. Also learns Iron Defense as well. Set up Spike, Spiky Shield. It has Leech Seed. That's another one. But the important thing is it has no way to increase its special defense stat. There is no Sandstorm, so it cannot get the 50% uh, stat boost to its Spadef. Meaning we are able to destroy this chestnut in one turn with a bunch of different things. Now for our first one hit KO strat, it's going to involve Berserker and spoilers. Both of them are going to involve Berserker. Berserker is the best assistant to any steel type kill because chestnut is weak to steel. We can exploit that weakness. Now I'm going to give Berserker focus dash here. And the reason why we're giving it focus dash is just in case this thing hits us with like a close combat and it gets like a critical hit and your EVs aren't correct. You will guarantee always live on one HP. And assuming this thing does not have a damage dealing attack on turn zero, then that fat stash is going to stay. You are slower than the chestnut with Berserker. So we're going to keep that in mind, which is why focus hash is going to be the best item here. It's going to allow us to survive any hits and be able to get off the one turn move we need. Now I am personally running max hp max defense steely spirit is going to be incredibly important that's going to be the most important move or hidden ability that you can have for this raid series make sure you have the hidden ability it will not work without this hidden ability now for your move set honestly just run the standard set here iron head sword stance fake tears and helping hand i would put fake tears on the first slot because that is the move that we are going to be using with berserker in this but just in case I would definitely probably run a very similar set to this. You could probably replace Helping Hand for something else if you would like to. But in general, this is the moveset that you want with your Berserker. Now, the star of the show is going to be Mr. Goldango. And we're going to be running Life Orb with Mr. Goldango here. And uh, Life Orb is going to be necessary. You could also run Choice Specs. They're both going to kill. It doesn't necessarily matter which one you run. But if they're both going to kill, you might as well run Life Orb because just in case something terrible happens, you can at least change your moves up, right? Because Choice Specs locks you in. So we're going Max HP, Max Special Attack, uh, Modest Nature. That's very important to have. And we're going to be running Steel Beam and Make It Rain. And of course, Nasty Plot and Metal Sound just in case it doesn't work the turn one. But Steel Beam, Make It Rain actually both do kill on turn run with this setup so this is gonna be phenomenal and super easy to uh, make and i think everyone should have both a berserker and goldie go in general now for our turn one strats me really simple right golden go player is gonna have the move set i presented and is gonna either use steel beam or make it rain now make it rain is better because it doesn't have a chance of missing steel beam has a five percent chance of missing and so i just recommend using make it rain 
Now, the Berserker players are going to be running Focus Sash, as I mentioned, and Fake Tears. Now, Fake Tears has 100 accuracy. It's going to drop that Spadef by minus 2, making the Chest Knot minus 6. So what's going to happen is the Golden Go player is going to wait for the Berserker players to all hit their Fake Tears. Fake Tears won't miss, so it's a guaranteed hit. And then we're going to blow it up with one shot with a Life Orb, make it rain, and that's going to destroy it. It is important to have the ability Steely Spirit as this is going to allow for the Make It Rain to get an additional damage boost because it is a Steel type move and Steely Spirit boosts the moves of Steel types out here. So we're going to be good to go on that. And looking at the damage calc below, it's going to be phenomenal. Max Special Attack Life Orb Golden Go with three Steely Spirits, Make It Rain versus a minus six Terra Rock Chestnut. It's going to be a guaranteed one hit KO 103.3 to 121.6, a 30 times max boss HP. And all seven star raids always have 30 max HP. So we're done. It's over. Golden Go makes this as easy as possible. No bamboozle. It's going to be very simple and easy to do this. Uh, now you may be asking, what if the uh, Chestnut outspeeds us and hit us, hits us? Well, the Focus Sash makes it so the Berserkers always live. Golden Go naturally outspeeds Chestnut. So we're going to outspeed and hit it. Uh, the worst thing that the Golden Go can get hit by is going to be an Earthquake. An Earthquake does about 33% max damage. And if it is a critical hit, it'll probably do about 88% damage. So there is no way for the Chestnut to knock us out on turn one if it has no turn zero damaging moves. Another thing is if it does have a move on turn zero, which is Taunt, uh, then you would replace the Focus Sash on Berserker with a Mental Herb so you can survive. And of course, if you are running max HP, max defense, Berserker should be able to take any hit on turn one uh, just as fine as the Golden Go can. Probably a little bit better because you do have that defense and HP investment and you have really good defensive stat overall Berserker too. And now for our second one hit KO strat. Once again, Berserker is out here, exact same build from before. Focus Sash, Steely Spirit as our hidden ability, max HP, max defense, and Fake Tears is the only move that really matters here. Of course, we could switch out Focus Sash for Mental Herb if the Chestnut does have Taunt on turn zero. Now, Golden Go is not going to be the option here as we're going to be talking about Magnezone. Magnezone with Choice Specs is Golden Go at home, but it works just as well. And if you don't have a Golden Go, then this is going to be your option here. Now, we're going to be going max HP, max special attack. Uh, modest nature or quiet nature is going to be really good. And we're going to be going with Steel Beam here or Flash Cannon as our option, which really depends on your ability, right? So the ability analytic is going to be really good because we're going to be the last Pokemon to act in general. So it's going to get that extra 30% damage boost that analytic does provide, which is going to be really helpful. Now, I'll say this. If the Chestnut does have Earthquake and it is a plus attack nature... You will die for sure, which is why I actually recommend probably running Sturdy on it. If you do have run into an Earthquake or something like that, then I would probably run Sturdy Magnezone over so you guarantee survive and you can still hold your choice specs to do the massive amount of damage that you need to do to take it out on one turn. But Steel Beam will be the better option overall because if you don't have Analytic, you will have to use Steel Beam. If you, do, if you do have Analytic and it doesn't have like an Earthquake or something that one-shots you on turn one, then you can use Flash Cannon as well. Flash Cannon is obviously better than Steel Beam because, you know, the accuracy on Flash Cannon is 100 and Steel Beam is 95. But the general goal is we're just going to hit once, once those uh, fake tears go off and bada bing, bada boom. Now the one turn Chestnut strat, we're going to be running Choice Specs Magazine, as I mentioned. Steel Beam will be able to get the one shot when you have Steely Spirits with all three Berserkers and the Chestnut is at minus six. Once again, we run the Focus Sash, but we could run Mental Herb if it does happen to have Taunt on turn zero. You can see at a calc below that we absolutely obliterate the chestnut here with Magnezone. Now, if you don't have analytic, and this calc is not running analytic, by the way, this calc is running a, a sturdy Magnezone, assuming that there's going to be like an earthquake coming for us, which does have a chance of one-shotting us if it is an adamant or plus attack nature chestnut. If it is not plus attack nature or does not have an earthquake move, then we can run analytic and it will one shot with uh, flash cannon, which ends up being the better move than steel beam. Cause as I mentioned before, flash cannon, 100 accuracy, steel beams, 95 so 5% chance that this messes up. So that's gonna be up to you. But once the raid day actually happens, we're gonna be good to go. 
And like I mentioned, Chestnut has no way increasing his spadef. So it's going to be fine. Magnezone and Goldingo are going to be both phenomenal Pokemon for the turn one strat. So I do recommend building your Berserkers for sure. We're going to be doing this on stream live this Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So be there for sure. Have your Berserkers. I'll be raiding with members and community members in general. And then the live chat as well. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was helpful, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a good one.